What's up everyone? I'm Kyle. You're watching Driving and Vibing and today, as you could have probably guessed from the title, we are unboxing the brand new WeBoost Cell Booster for RVs and it is called the Connect RV 65. This thing has new features that have yet to be seen on RV boosters from WeBoost. So we are super excited to get into the details, so stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel everyone. Like I said in the intro, this is the brand new WeBoost Cell Booster with new features unseen yet from boosters they've made for the RV community. So that is super exciting. Before we get into the boxes, let me I'll just show you this box. This is like um standard box that we've received from WeBoost in the past, but we also got this mammoth box behind us it was connected to the package whenever it first arrived. I was not anticipating a box that big. So it's gonna be fun to open these up, but just to give you a very brief breakdown of the differences of what this new feature is, is the Connect 65 stands for 65 a boost of a decibel gain, I guess is what the scientific term is. That is um, a higher gain than they've been able to release before because it is a directional antenna. Antennas in the past have been omnidirectional and they've been made primarily for moving RVs. So the most they could allow by federal standards is a 50 decibel gain. But this one is made, um, you can't use it while you're driving, but you have to set it up once you get to a location but because of that you can get an increased decibel gain up to 65 decibels so super exciting but uh, that's enough talking about it because I only know a little bit about it so far so I think we should go ahead and open it up I have the box sitting down here on the table so I guess uh, I'll just let everyone see it hold it up a little awkward one good thing about WeBoost is that their packaging is amazing it uh, really walks you right through the process uh, even on this box, it says box one of two, right there. So from the packaging, even on the outside, it kind of walks you through how to open up these boxes and what the pieces will be used for. But immediately when I open it up, I have a nicely packaged, uh, you know, layout in here with the instruction manuals that have uh, just a phone number right off the top that you can call if you need any assistance. Once I take that off, I'm guessing what I'm looking at right here is the main boosting system and the internal antenna. Let's take these out and get a closer look. So yeah, this is the inside antenna. Now this antenna, for us, we haven't seen anything this size before. Normally we're using something that's the size of like a small candy bar. That's what it's referred to in the community. But this is a larger interior antenna than I've seen before that must help spread the signal inside the rig. So that will be exciting to test out. Uh, next up, now next up is a very traditional piece of equipment we're used to seeing. This is the main boosting station. So the outside antenna connects to this and then this connects to the inside antenna. And this looks very, uh, it's very standard. This is what we're used to and it works amazing as the boosting station. All you gotta do is text a photo of this and I guess that registers it immediately. So you automatically have the warranty registration right there very cool so that was the very first layer of this box now if we remove this tray i'm guessing we're gonna find some more stuff all right let me show you what i'm looking at now so i removed this tray from the box and now this is what we got this is unlike anything i've seen before from WeBoost because what this is is an external antenna that is made to mount directionally let me take this out and show you what it is. Oh wow, it's super lightweight. I was expecting it to be heavier. Uh, and it's pretty sleek. So, it, it, I mean, this is super lightweight. And what this does, let me step back so you can see it fully. So, I, I'm guessing this is gonna mount to a pole and you'll hang it up, I believe, 20 feet high in the air. And then you'll point this to wherever the cell tower is in your area. Now Weboost just made a video of how to find the tower in your area. I'll link that above right there just so you can watch that because it's a pretty simple process with an, a free app from your cell phone. So you just look at that app and it will guide you in the right direction and then you just point this to wherever it needs to be. 
And with that, instead of the omnidirectional antenna getting that 50 decibels a gain, you're gonna have the potential to get 65 decibels a gain pointed straight at a tower. And that is not the rest. We also have another layer of uh, trays in here. So let me remove this second tray. All right, so this is the last tray right here. This is what we're looking at. And again, everything WeBoost makes in their packaging is super self-explanatory. Right here, you can see on this, it says step five. So everything, you can lay it out in steps, starting with the very first step and what piece of equipment you need for that first step. So I really like that about it. This is the power connection. It looks like it is a AC power that you plug into the wall. I don't know if they have DC power. I'd be interested to see. I don't see the option of it right here. Also on this layer, you'll find mounting brackets. Looks like these mounting brackets are for that external antenna to mount around the flagpole device, which I'm guessing is in that box behind me. So, uh, and once I remove that, <laughs> that's loud. Once I remove this very final tray, you have a lot of cable right in there that uh, you can run from the external antenna. Then it gives you this very sleek, flat cable that you connect to the outside cable. You can run this through like a window or any small connection so you can still make a nice seal with it. And then again, you have another round cable to connect to the inside antenna. So they don't miss anything as far as uh, including all the pieces you need to make sure that installation goes easy and that you can do it all yourself. Every WeBoost that we've installed in the past, we've been able to install ourselves. We love that about WeBoost. It looks like this one is set up the same way to make the process as easy as possible. Now, if you are struggling, they put this at the very top of the box so you can call them and they'll walk you through it. You might need a hand if you need to climb up on the top of your roof or something, but uh, it, it should be easy enough to mount all these boosters yourself. We mounted the um, booster on our rig ourselves and the truck. All right, so now for the fun box. So right here, they let me know, open this side. Also box two of two. This must be purchased with the Connect RV65 to function. And step two right there. So you know the second step of this whole process involves this sucker. Let me get her open. All right, so off the top I see a few warnings right here and uh, you can see it. And this is a big one. Uh, let's see, let me see if I can focus in there. There you go. Do not put RV in motion when pole is mounted. They have a very clear picture there. Uh, instructing you not to do that in wind over 35 miles per hour, uh, take it down or in lightning. So just a few uh, instructions and then also a pinch point right here, which is an interesting sticker. Let me see if I can get that. There you go, right there it says pinch point. We actually made a great friend this weekend. Joe, he works with the folks over at uh, Mobile Internet Aficionados and he said he got pinched by this point just last week and I saw his finger was uh, busted up to prove it. So be careful whenever you install this thing. All right, y'all, so that looks like all the pieces of the puzzle to make this Connect 65 work and get you even more directional boosted cellular signal than the Omni antennas can provide. So that's super excited. I cannot wait to test this thing out, but right now we are not in a place to really do a great test on it. So let me recommend you watch RVing with Tito's video. He did a wonderful uh, unboxing, installation, and test. He compared it to no booster, to the regular WeBoost 4GX with a regular antenna boosted, and then he compared it to this RV Connect 65. The video is amazing. I'll link it above right there so you can watch it because he did a great job of testing it. And always we like to direct our friends over to Mobile Internet Aficionados run by Chris and Cherie of Technomadia because they put out so many great stats of all the boosters across the board, how they perform, and just all the benefits and all the downfalls of each piece of booster technology out there for the RV world. 
So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to check those other videos out if you wanna see how it's installed and if you wanna see how it performs. I can't wait to put this thing together. I'll put the WeBoost link down below as well if you wanna check out the product directly or purchase it because I know that this thing is gonna boost our signal even stronger than the regular OTR antenna we got. Thanks again guys for watching and we will see you tomorrow, later on.